Well, look, we're really pleased to launch the first of our new extended trains today. And this is the first of seven trains which should be launched over, over the next 10 months. This will bring additional capacity to our network, over 1,600 seats. Uh, and that will be really important to help people, encourage people back onto public transport, back onto our rail network. It will also bring enhanced accessibility, enhanced environmental benefits in terms of tackling climate change and, and greater comfort and quality for, for all of our passengers. Well, passengers will be able to see that one, it's a walk-through train, which makes all of the facilities on the train more accessible, toilets at each end, you know, uh, cycling facilities, wheelchair accessibility, for example. There's also new features like USB charging, LED lighting, which helps the environmental performance of the train as well, and greater comfort and quality of all the seating on the train. Well, as well as the additional capacity and, and improved seating and accessibility, passengers will also enjoy uh, improved uh, air conditioning on the trains, and we think that will really help encourage people back to public transport post-COVID-19. Well, following um, our investment of £66 million, uh, we were able to purchase 21 new train carriages. Uh, the first three of those uh, arrived a couple of months ago and the wonderful thing about today is that the first long train is going into service. So this is about improving the customer experience, there's greater comfort, greater capacity and of course this is critical in terms of tackling the climate emergency. Transport is the second biggest emitter when it comes to emissions and so we need to be encouraging as many people as possible to choose to travel either by walking, wheeling, cycling or using our public transport network. Today it's about showing that we're committed to our rail network, that we're investing in it and it's about attracting people to choose rail which is a wonderful way to travel. Well this is the first of seven six car units that will be deployed on the Northern Ireland Railways network. So between now and summer 2022, you'll see the remaining six sets rolled out into passenger service and thus providing more capacity for our uh, commuting market and also our leisure travel on all lines across the NIR network. 